vlog hope you enjoyed last week's today i meant to be going out to the beach for church but it's raining so i don't know if that's gonna happen or if it does what we'll do instead but right now i'm not very awake and i'm about to host an exec meeting so good morning the weekly vlog still hasn't gone up that's how early it is <laughs> and yeah i'm gonna quickly do this because it's already nine o'clock and then see you later Okay, so my exact meeting's done. I've just done my hair. So I've just braided the top here like this and then curled the bottom bits. Um, I'm waiting for these curls to drop out a little bit, but they look quite nice. So, Yes, I am going to New Brighton at about half past 11. It's currently 5 to. I've been watching Eve Bennett's most recent vlog. Yeah, that's all I've done this morning really. The exec meeting went well. It was nice to see everyone. Yeah, that's it. We read James chapter 5. If you haven't read James chapter 5, I'd highly recommend it. James is possibly my favourite book in the Bible now. Used to be Philippians, but I love the book of James. So yes, I have curled my hair. As you can see, it's very curly, but I love it. Um, And yeah, that's all I have to update you on really. This is making me jealous though, because she's in Seville in Spain and I want to be on holiday. At least the sun's trying to come out at the moment. It's not quite come out yet, but I'll take you along with me later. So I've arrived in New Brighton. I need to put some different shoes on because I think it's warm enough that we'll sit on the beach. And so I don't want these nice white ones. So I've brought some of my older trainers. I need to go into Morrison's really quickly to pick up something. And then I might walk up to the train station and meet them because they were getting the train over. But first I change my shoes. It's turned out to be quite a nice day, like it's sunny now, which is, and it, there's like blue sky behind me, what? Clearly God knew we were coming to the beach. And so, you know, he's making it nice for us <laughs> because that's what a loving God is. It's a nice beach day for church people. I'm joking, obviously. Oh, just putting these shoes on my tootsies. I definitely should have just not worn my white ones. Oh well, if I want to go on a photo mission later, that'll be nice. But for now, these nice white ones. I can sit down here. There's a tissue down here for it. <laughs> and then I'm just going to run into Morrison's quickly to pick up a few things. And then head back up the hill. I think their train came in, or like they left about 15 minutes ago, and so it should be another like 10 minutes or so. I should be okay to run into Morrison's. Just quickly picking up a few little things, you know? Just little things. <laughs> oh, there we go. Anyone else hate putting shoes on? Like it's such an annoying thing that you have to do. Tying laces is just not, it's just not a one, is it? But yeah, right, let's go to Morrison's. I think they're over there, but New Brighton's still sunny. We've been out this whole time. So we went for lunch at a place called Marino Lounge in New Brighton, which is probably my favourite place to eat in New Brighton. Oh, and then we went and sat on the beach, played a game of wiffle ball. It's like baseball, but the amateur version. Um, and then we just sat down, played a game of Uno, chatted, 
It was really nice to like actually get to know people properly. It's so hard to get to know people on Zoom or like in a mask at church. So yes, and then I popped into Morrison, picked up a few things and now I'm about to head home. So all in all, it was a lovely day. I'm so glad I went. I'm very windswept, as you can tell, but I really enjoyed it and it was so nice to meet some new people. So I'm going to head home and catch you there. I'm home. Ignore the combination, I was cold, so I put a long sleeve top under my top. This has just arrived. It is from Eden.com. And because my Bible pages are so thin, my normal highlighters go through it. And so I've picked up two packets of Bible gliders. So it's like a Accu gel. So we'll try it out. Right, let me go to James Top because there was something I wanted to highlight earlier because it's such a good verse. Okay, so it goes like this and it's like a wax. I don't know how well you can see that. It's like a waxy thing. Happy enough with that. Just looks like this. So you can still see it's highlighted, but it's not obnoxious, which I actually quite like. So yeah, I got two blue and two orange because my Bible is obviously like a bluey, greeny colour. And I thought these colours would go well. So I'm happy with that, happy with that, happy with my afternoon, it was absolutely lovely, very happy with it indeed. And now it's three minutes past five and I'm just going to lie in bed and chill for the rest of the afternoon because it's a rest day and that's what I can do. Thank you for all the love on last week's weekly vlog, it's going down really well at the moment, which I'm really happy about. So happy Sunday, uh, it's currently about two o'clock. I haven't done much today, I watched church in bed this morning and I washed my hair, mum cut it for me so it is quite a lot shorter. I feel like there's a few kind of stray longer bits but I think that's just because when I pull it to the front. But yes, it feels a lot healthier at the end, so, so cut the hair. And then we've just had lunch. We had like a garlic flatbread with melted cheese and chorizo on it. Vegan cheese, obviously. Yeah, it's very tasty. But I do stink of garlic right now. So that's fun. Bible highlighters are still coming in useful. <laughs> and my sister has her youth group coming over this evening. I'm going to try and plan a few videos that I need to film tomorrow. And yeah, that's it really. I edited a couple of videos last night. And I'm going to try and get them all video, all videoed, that doesn't make sense, all edited, like, by the end of this month. Which is in a week, but, yeah, I need to plan out the videos I'm going to film tomorrow, because I, I think I want to film three tomorrow, maybe four. Just so, like, because it's exam season coming up, that I can, like, get them bulk filmed. And then they're all there, ready to edit. Yeah, that's my Sunday. It's really cold in the house, hence the dressing gown. I am dressed, I promise, but... It's chilly. We've just turned the heat on and it's still May, but it's freezing, so that's fun. But I do like the hair. It's very, feels a lot healthier, which is good. So it literally looks like nothing's changed. It's a lot later now, I promise. It is 10 to 7 and yeah, we've had a lovely little afternoon. A load of people from Abu's youth group came over, obviously sticking to the rule of six. Um, but yeah, they came over for like an afternoon tea, which was nice because I came and like sat down with them. It's still cold in this house though. And it's dinner time, we're having roast lamb, which, you know, tasty. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so it's about 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock on the dot, yeah. And I'm just about to join the Charles Nick Bible study. We're doing... 1 Peter chapter 2 and 3 today which should be good I have a plate of rich tea biscuits with icing on but I can't tip it up to show you because you know they'll fall everywhere and sorry I'm just trying to get the zoom link up uh, yeah I'm looking forward to it dinner was tasty I had one Yorkshire pudding and it didn't disagree with me so that's good um, yeah friends are over there. Anyway, I need to go and join this Zoom call and then see you later. Oh, 
Well, wow, that was a rich one. It's currently quarter to 12. We've been on since 10, but it was really good. Uh, we looked through one Peter, three and, no, two and three. And as you can tell, there's a lot of highlighting and a lot of notes going on. Very theologically deep, but incredible conversations. Um, just a few little snippets. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 2 verses 1 to 3. Um, it's talking about how like we are like a newborn baby and we always crave pure spiritual milk. Um, like we don't ask, we don't start a Christian life in maturity, which is why when people become a Christian, they're so like engrossed in worship music and listening to podcasts and all sorts. And I think as we mature into that, I think a lot of people can go, oh, it's all right. Like I'm a Christian. I don't need feeding as much, but actually like we are children of God. We are always that dependent on God. Um, so we are needing that like spiritual food, regardless of where we are in life. So that was great. Then the first part of chapter three, what a good wife looks like. Um, verses three and four, your beauty should not come from outward adornments such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that your inner self, your unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. I love that. Gentle and quiet spirit is not a, an oppressive term. It's not a submit. Submissive isn't the right word because it is submissive, but not a worldly submissive thing. Submission is a respect. Um, just as Christ submits to the church, we are to, to submit to God and we are, as a wife, are to submit to our husband, which, you know, great teaching again. And then we also talked in chapter three at verse 21 and how it, it says it kind of weirdly here. It's talking about baptism. And this water symbolises baptism and thus saves you also, not the removal of dirt from the body, but a pledge of a clear conscience towards God. And I think people can take that out of context in baptism saves you. No, it doesn't. Baptism saves you because it represents the inward faith and that commitment that you have made to God. So the commitment comes first, the baptism comes second. The baptism only comes once you are saved, um, but the baptism does not save you. Um, but yeah, we had great conversations as I can like it's 10 to 12 I was going to leave at 11 because I've got to be up at 8am but it was too good to go <sighs> so yes and I have a load of books that I'm going to read post-it notes Christians love post-it note anyway I'm going to sign out for the night get rid of this hair put my actual pyjamas on go to sleep <laughs> all around good things. <laughs> See you in the morning. Hello, fancy seeing you here. Happy Monday. Today I have been filming. So I filmed, how many videos have I filmed so far? Three. So I filmed the What God Taught Me this month that's going up tomorrow and two other videos that you're going to have to subscribe to see because they're going up next Thursday and the Thursday after. It'll be interesting. I think a lot of you will want to see one of them. I mean, maybe not, but I thought <laughs> it'd be a good one to film. And so I'm just gonna put my camera battery back on charge. I need to charge this one actually as well. Uh, and take the files off the SD card. I was meant to go to the primary thing this morning, but I didn't get to sleep until like two. So I don't think it was, I don't know. I just thought it'd be better to sleep um, just cause otherwise I'd have had to go up at like seven and I've been wiped out today. Um, so yeah. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. I don't know what she was talking about. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna transfer these files now onto my laptop, put this camera battery on charge because it's gonna die, and then I might go to Tesco later. I need to pick up some cereal bars and some more body wash, and I think that's it, and maybe some snacks. Mmm, snacks. 
tasty snacks. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go transfer these files over and then maybe start editing. Hey, so this has been on charge virtually all afternoon. Um, I went to Tesco after I'd finished filming. Grabbed quite a lot of things actually for everybody in the house. I haven't understood anything yet though. Uh, I spent this afternoon kind of doing one of my tutorial, what's it called, like a geography portfolio tasks that's due on Monday along with everything else. So I just need to get them finished. It's literally like 200 words left. So that's great. Um, I actually, in a weird turn of events, have a geography tutoring session at 7pm. It's currently 20 past 6. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to update you on really. It's been a fairly slow day. Um, oh, it's chilly in here. So my tutoring session this evening went really well. Um, it was kind of just an introduction into each other, what they wanted. Um, yeah, that was it really. Um, like what they struggle with most, what I can help with, and then the plan for the weeks going forward. So yeah, that was good. I guess I've now got a job. <laughs> um, it's about 10 to midnight now, and I'm just taking my makeup off and getting ready to bed. I've set an alarm for quarter past eight in the morning because I want to kind of sort my sleep schedule out because I really struggle to get to sleep at the moment. I can lie awake for hours, so if I'm awake and tired then hopefully I'll sleep better. That's my thought process anyway. I have a few lectures to watch tomorrow. I've edited three videos tonight. Yeah, three. Two of which I filmed earlier, one more of the geography ones. Just so that they're that they're edited me. It's just after running. Yeah, they are. So I thought it was hearing things. Um, I'm gonna go wash my face and then go to sleep. I apologise for not being a better vlogger <laughs> today, but there's not really been that much to show you. Um, yeah, I'll catch you in the morning. Happy Tuesday. Yeah. Um, I've been working some of the morning, kind of getting some things done for the guy I'm tutoring, trying to find enough light resources to make a PowerPoint. Um, I've been organising my Google Drive and uh, I'm going to drop away back into Heswell. He's been here to visit Stephen. Yeah, that's it. I've been printing things, making notes and trying to find out some like things that I don't know yet. Um, so yeah, I have my one-to-one -one later with my mentor, so I've got to read John chapter 2 and 3, and then I have to see you tonight, but I'm not doing anything for it, so that's quite nice. Um, but yeah, I also have to get my geography portfolio task done, because it needs to get done by Monday, and this might be the last day I have to do it, so yes, that's today's plan. It's chilly in this house again, as always. But um, I'm actually really enjoying Notion right now. Everything looks pretty. <laughs> um, my life is getting organised and so I'm enjoying it. But I need to drop Poi back. So I'll see you later. Hey, sorry I've been so MIA today. I don't know why I have. I had my one-to-one -one earlier, which was really nice. And then dinner, we had a chicken and broccoli pasta bake. And then I had CU this evening, which is good again. And I've just got off a virtually two hour face cam call with one of my best friends. I always love a chat. Um, and yeah, I'm getting ready for bed. I'm in uni tomorrow, actually, like in person for the first time this academic year. And yes, it's May. Um, so I'm gonna bring you with me, show you a bit around the campus. I need to pick up a few things from Stephen's house, from my house, and yeah, that's it really. It should be fun, but I'm gonna go to sleep and I will catch you in the morning when I've got my first day of in-person uni. Early morning.
and COVID test, you know. Oh, my eyes are watering so much. <laughs> and apart from this box, which is just rubbish, we're done. This is my empty uni room, bed, drawers. It's very weird to be here. Cupboards, desk space. I'm out of breath. I've just walked up the stairs like 50, 50 times or something. <sighs> End of an era. Yeah, these are my stairs. <laughs> I just need to take this down, dismantle all the cardboard into the bin, and then I can say goodbye to this room for, oh, I'm sweaty. You can see it under my glasses. And then I'm done with this room forever. Oh, so weird. Granted, I was literally over here like four months. I came in August of 2020. I moved out in December for what I thought was Christmas and then never came back. So this is the weird cupboard on the stairs. It's got a light and we can't open it. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you the whole house because you know, people are still living here. So privacy, but I can't do this with one hand, so I'll catch you later. Bye house. This is so weird. Oh, the front door's lucky, so you've got to twist it and hold it. <laughs> Making our way out of here. Oh, no, let's look. Just lock it. This is so weird. Last time I'm going to have to open that in a while. Or ever, maybe. I need to drop my key at the landlord's house, but... The landlord's house, that's not what I meant. The estate agent. <laughs> the landlord's house. Right. <sighs> As you can see, things are my stuff. I can still see out the back of the car, so that's a good thing. And now I'm going to uni because I have a lecture at 12. It's about half 11 now. I need to open a parcel before I go and then I'll catch you at uni. Look how pretty campus is. I thought I'd give you a little walk around campus while I can. Yeah, pretty fountains. <laughs> so this is like the sports complex and these are what they call the Harry Potter halls. Um, you may be able to tell why. I was living on the other side of this quad, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, yeah, it feels so weird to be back on campus, but I am kind of loving it. <laughs> and because it's so quiet, like literally no one's here. Um, I don't feel as weird about getting my phone out. <laughs> yes, I'm on my phone. My camera seems a bit more obnoxious. This is the gym. The gym's in there. Whew. Sorry about the wind. There's not much I can do really. And then this is the nicest part of campus, I swear. Look! So this is what they call the like rector's lawn. I was living over here in my first year. These are all the Harry Potter halls. Yeah. This is like an absolutely beautiful campus. Oh, I love it. It feels so strange to be back though because I, I decided to park over the other side so I could like walk around and show you guys. It feels so nice to be back on campus. Um, yeah, this is not quite like the American campuses, but I don't know, like, look. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> yes, I know I've got uni, but it's still exciting. And then this is the bit, this is what they call the chapter see. And then there's a the lawn over here. <laughs> it's so nice. So we've had uni. Uh, we went for lunch at our place, me and a few friends, and now I'm heading home. Just been to the toilet. Everything is like obviously very COVID safe, but yeah, just thought I'd update you a little bit while I'm actually out the house. And this is the other side of campus I've just come out of. Uni, this is what they call the gateway building, and there's another fountain over there. And then this is the arch on campus, um, kind of bridging both sides. Bible verses, which is cool. Just look how beautiful this campus is. So this used to be my walk back to my flat in my first year. This again is the rector's lawn. I'm just walking back to the car now. And yeah, along here, there's usually loads of flowers here, like during the spring and thing. And then I lived in this building here. Just 
just here and then this is the lawn again it's honestly been so nice to like just be back on campus it's it's one of those things that you kind of take for granted while you're here um but like hope is a beautiful campus and it's so quiet as well you can hear the old police car but that's Liverpool for you isn't it <laughs> and all these little like I don't know what you call them lights I guess look very Harry Potter-esque it's a very British university but it's so so nice to be back I'm so glad we're here um, and yeah thanks for coming along with me on the first day I'm back next Wednesday for like a lot longer of a session meet my like dissertation supervisor and things like that um, but we actually probably only had like 45 minutes of teaching today that's fine me and a few friends went out for a bite to eat afterwards yeah it was it was nice and now I'm just walking back to the car the long way because I love this campus. I am so blessed to be here. If you have never seen Hope before, come have a tour, come have a look. It's a beautiful campus. I mean, just look at this. Like, this is the walk to the car park. <laughs> Do I need to say anything more? I don't know what the melon on the floor is, I'm apologizing. Um, but yeah, it's very pretty, very beautiful. And I will catch you probably when I'm home. I need to do one of the lectures that I didn't do earlier because I was on my way here. And then I have my student connect tonight. And I need to go to Tesco to pick something up for Stephen. Just some lunch. And I know I'm out of breath. I'm really unfit. Um, but yeah, like, it's so nice to be on campus again. Like, the library is in this building. Just... Just look how pretty. The little gardens, water features. I love this campus so much. <laughs> so we're in the car. I've just been into Tesco, picked up some Pringles and a meal deal for Stephen for dinner tonight, I'm assuming. And now I'm gonna head home. It's about half past three. I definitely expected to be home earlier than that. Um, but lunch took longer than expected. And then I filled up my car with petrol, redid the like, air pressure in my tyres just because I wanted to get it done and I'm not in a rush today so I don't need to like be anywhere in particular so I thought I'd do all that stuff while I'm not like in a rush whereas tomorrow like I'm meeting someone and I've got to go through to Liverpool and I didn't want to like give Steve the car on an empty tank and things like that so I'm gonna head home I'm really liking my hair at the moment I think it looks quite nice it needs a wash but for fourth day here this isn't that bad i really enjoyed being on campus today it was so nice to just almost get out and get a bit more normality and like we went for lunch there was just three of us um, we went to our place if you've known the campus they do good food the chips are beautiful and they're like chicken goujon things excellent anyway i'm gonna head home see my boy and unload the car <laughs> morning. Apologise for not updating you all yesterday. I didn't do anything <laughs> to update you on. Uh, Mum, Dad and Abby went out for dinner so we didn't have dinner. I think I had a packet of what's it and seen that hot cross bun because neither of us were that hungry. So yeah that was our evening and then this morning and today I have uni 12 till 3. It's currently 12 minutes past 11. Um, We've got a few friends coming over for the afternoon, I think. And then I'm going out for dinner tonight, which I'm looking forward to with one of my friends from church. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm tired today though, but not, I think just like general, I did something yesterday and so I'm a bit tired today. Not exhausted, so it's good. I need to buy more of this actually. In the glow how, whatever it's called, it's open glory. Yes, oh, I'm debating doing a, some sort of skincare that I've used to clear my skin up a bit video. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Just because quite a few years ago I had fairly bad skin and I went to the doctors for it and all sorts. Yeah, I might just document my skin journey 
from that to now. Because you know, there's change. There's been things that I've implemented that I think have worked. There are things that I've tried that I don't think work. Oh, yeah, let me know if you'd like to see that. I will happily make it for you. Uh, yeah, that's all I have on today. I've been to Sainsbury's, got our stuff. And now I'm heading back to the car. And I'm back home. It's such a nice day out smash. So I'm now home and I'm sat in the garden catching some rays, you know. Oh, it's so nice. Excuse the cockerel and the drill next door. I know it's not the most relaxing thing in the world, but it's so nice to be outside. Like the sky is a beautiful shade of blue today, which we haven't seen in like, well, I should stop swinging. We haven't seen that in like such a long time. And so it's so super nice to see that. I'm going out for dinner with one, of, well, I'm going out for drinks with one of my friends later. Just in house hall. Steven's coming back. He's been out and he's bringing a friend and so I'll get to see him too, which I'm looking forward to. Someone from church has just popped around for like 20 minutes just to say hi. So yeah, feeling very social today. I'm enjoying it. I, the clip you saw before this was in Sainsbury's. I went to go and pick up a pair of socks for Stephen that he'd ordered to Argos. And so yeah, I did that. Popped into Sainsbury's, picked up a few snacks because you know, I love my snacks. Hey, so I'm just back from being out for dinner. I say dinner, we went for drinks and I got some chips um, to a place called the Otto Lounge in Heswell. Highly recommend if you're on the rural. Outfit of the day, just this high neck top from Zara. This cardigan, which I've literally had for years. I think it's from Primark. And then these Nike joggers. I thought it's like smart cash, isn't it? Well, it's not really smart, but the cardigan makes it feel a bit smarter. So I think I looked quite cool. I don't need you to tell me otherwise. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was really nice to catch up. I've been home probably about an hour now. Catching up with Stephen, seeing how he is. We've had some pretty good news today, which is nice. Makes a little bit of a change at the moment. But uh, yeah, I've had a nice evening. I'm gonna get on with some uni work because I really haven't done a lot today. Um, yeah, I kind of did like maybe two and a half hours which isn't a lot, <laughs> especially when it's, as you Americans call it, final season, uh, end of the year exam season. Um, I'm actually on top of things this week, which is good. I have to make an exec meeting agenda for Saturday morning. And yeah, even thinking about 9 a.m. on Saturday morning is making me tired, so I'll be quiet. Um, but yeah, I need to go and do some more work. It's about half past eight now, I think. Um, and yeah. Hi, I'm going to sleep now. It's quarter to midnight. I've been reading through the first bit of the book of Job. I've decided to start that. So I read the first three chapters, did a bit of a devotional on it. It's all about like suffering and trusting God in times of adversity. It's a really good book to so film. But as I say, I'm only three chapters in. It's 42 chapters, but I'm doing like three a day, so uh, that's too much maths. 14 days, two weeks, that's not bad, but I need to go to sleep. Also, I've been thinking a lot about comparison and life and I don't know, but that's not a conversation I want to have right now because it's quarter to midnight and I'm tired. But I will be having that conversation with you at some point, I'm sure, like a comparison and at life stages, just because I've just heard someone's got engaged that's like my age. She's 20. Wait, I mean, congratulations. She definitely won't watch this, but. Pff, pff, my mum was engaged at 21. I turned 21 in like four months. Three months, if that. Mind boggling. <laughs> Ah, uh, kind of scary, kind of not. Yeah, I've already had a message from my friend being like, it's you next. I'm like, Pff. don't look at me, it's not my problem. <laughs> I don't know, I need to shut up and get to sleep because I'm tired. But yeah, that's just what's on my mind right now. Stay well, see you in the morning. Hello, happy Friday. Today I am actually filming another video. 
it's my wardrobe and room declutter video. So I'm gonna be trying all of my wardrobe on to see what fits, what doesn't, what I'm keeping, what I'm not. And so I need this camera and my other camera to like film it. Um, which does mean that I'm gonna, oh, itchy nose, that I'm gonna end this vlog here. Um, yeah, because I'm using the footage for something else. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I don't know how long it's been, but it was an eventful one. I was on campus for the first time this whole year, which is exciting. And so, yeah, please do subscribe down below if you enjoyed. I upload a weekly vlog every single week. I have a video going up tomorrow for you guys. It's the What God Taught Me This Month for May. How? I don't know. <laughs> Not a clue. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope, I don't know. Please just subscribe down below. It really helps me out. And I'm trying to get 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Currently, as I'm filming this, we've got 212, which is so cool. Like, 212 of you just sat watching my life. Why? I don't know, but thank you so much. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. And I'm going to go and film another video. You'll probably recognise it. <laughs> it's coming out in a couple of weeks, I think. I actually have no idea. But yeah, stay tuned to see all that. And shop my Depop. Maybe. I don't know. I might have lose it to Depop. I might not. Like all the items of clothing. But we will see. Anyway, I need to go and... Yeah, I will see you same time, same place next week. 10 a.m. on Saturday. I'll also be uploading Monday, Thursday, Saturday next week. So, see you then. Bye.